Haluka, uh, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm Swagatam. Namaste. Astu, I am Pratnam Kurma. Pani Raja Mode. Amma. Pratu Mode. Pratamam. Slokam. Om Sri Gurave Namaha. Om Vakratunda Mahakaya. Surya Koti Samaprabha. Nirvegdham Purume Deva. Sarva Kareshu Sarvada Saraswati Namastobham Varade Kamarupini Vidyarambham Karishami Sedher Bhavatume Sada Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Sakshat Para Brahma Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Aryom Tatsat Dhanyavada Grace Lama Vayam Addavayam Ekam Nutanam Ekam Nutanam Patam Patama Atra Tatra uh, Katham etas supyoga, Vayam Karaniyam, Vayamadra, Adda, Patama. Atra, Tatra. Ah. Uh, Dru uh, Bagani uh, Patatu. Uh, atra here. Gajaha hmm. Atra Asti. Hmm. The elephant is here. Hmm. Nadi Atra Asti. Hmm. The river is here. Hmm. Jalam Atra Asti. Water is here. Astu, Astu. Nanyavada. So Atra um, uh, is for here. Aham Kutrasmi. Aham Atrasmi. Um, so whenever we use uh, here in English or in Hindi uh, for yaha, so uh, Sanskrit word is for uh, for um, here is atra. Um, second word is or its complementary word is tatra. There. Uh, uh, Nataraj Mahade, Bhavan Pradadu. Tatra, hmm. there. Simhaha, Tatra hmm. Asti. The lion is there. Balika, Tatra Asti. The girl is there. Chatram, Tatra Asti. Hmm. The umbrella is there. Hmm. Uh, uh, Bhavan Kutrasti, Vidatu. Bhavan Kutrasti, where are you? Bhavan, uh, Aham, uh, Mumbai Nagare was uh, was uh, a uh, Atrap Yoga Sakarotu. Um, Atra Yogas, uh, Aham, Aham Atrasmi, uh, Aham Atrasmi, Aham, Aham Atrasmi, Aham Atrasmi. Astu. Um, another word uh, from the same family is Anitra. Somewhere. He is not here or is not there. Somewhere. I don't know where, but it is somewhere or elsewhere. Uh, Parthi Bhagani. Patatu uh, uh, Unmute Kurutu, Parthi Bhagani uh, 
स्वप्न भगनी अन्यत्र समवेर नॉट हियर एल्सवेर बालक अन्यत्र अस्ति द बॉय इज समवेर नॉट हियर अंकनी अन्यत्र अस्ति द पेंसिल इज समवेर अस्तु भगनी अस्तु अस्तु स्मृता भगनी पढ़तु एक एक वाक्य पढ़तु अंकनी अन्यत्र अस्ति The pencil is somewhere. Hmm. Uh, Ajoy, uh, Mode. Pustakam Anyatra. Hmm. Pustakam Anyatra Asti. The book is elsewhere. Hmm. The book is somewhere. Book is elsewhere. You don't know where, but it's somewhere. Uh, Adhut Mode. Bhavar Pradhatu. अग्रिम वाक्यम मयूरा अन्यत्र सन्ति द पीकॉक्स आर समवेयर हम्म सो अहो वचन हां सो बेसिकली यू कैन यूज अत्र तत्र अन्यत्र विद एक वचन बहुवचन बोथ ओके सो यू कैन आल्सो यू कैन आल्सो से मयूरह अन्यत्र अस्ति मयूरा अन्यत्र सन्ति सन्ति हम्म तो शिव कुमार महोदय भगवान अग्रिम वाक्य पढ़तु यदि केवल एक फल अस्थि कथम भगवान वदति फ्रूट इज समवेर जानकी भगनी महोदय सर्वत्र एवरीवेयर ईश्वर सर्वत्र अस्ति ईश्वर इज एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर यू टू कंटिन्यू रीडिंग महोदय हाँ एक पढ़तु वायु सर्वत्र अस्ति एयर इज एवरीवेयर हम स्मृतवान क्लियर फॉर गॉट टू डू द एक्टिंग सो ईश्वर सो अत्र तत्र अन्यत्र सर्वत्र एवं क्षम्यता अस्तु पार्थी भगनी पढ़तु अभिनय अभी करोतु जलम सर्वत्र वाटर इज एवरीवेयर तनवी भगनी पढ़तु प्रथम वाक्य ईश्वर 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 सर्वत्र अस्ति अभिनय अभी करोतु अभिनय करोतु ईश्वर ईश्वर सर्वत्र अस्ति सम्य तुलसी महोदय भवान पटतु अग्रे भवान अनम्यूट करोतु भवान म्यूट अस्ति यूर यूर म्यूट अनम्यूट अनम्यूट करोतु वायु सर्वत्र अस्ति हा इदानीम अग्रे पटतु भवान कुत्र एवं कुत्र फंडी राजा महोदय भवान अग्रे पठतु ईश्वर कुत्र अस्ति हाँ एवं हाँ कुत्र अस्ति ईश्वर कुत्र अस्ति हाँ ईश्वर 
सर्वत्र अस्ति सर्वत्र अस्ति बहु सम्यक ध्रुवग्नि अग्रे अग्रे पठतु लेखनी कुत्र अस्ति लेखनी कुत्र अस्ति लेखनी अत्र अस्ति लेखनी अत्र अस्ति सपना भगनी अग्रिम वाक्य पढ़ नक्षत्र कुत्र अस्ति वेर इज द स्टार नक्षत्र तत्र अस्ति स्टार इज देयर तत्र अस्ति हां सम्यक अस्तु वयम इदानीम लक्ष्मी वयम किंचित अभ्यास कुरम अस्त कपड़ इधानी तुलसी महोदय पठत वजत मूषक अत्र अस्ति हा मूषक माउस इज हियर माउस इज हियर हा सम्यक पार्थिव भगनी वजत किम अभवत उत्तर पार्थिव भगनी शब्द न गति शाटिका तत्र अस्ति साड़ी इज़ देयर महोदय कंदुक कुत्र अस्ति कंदुकम बॉल बॉल कंदुक कंदुक कुत्र अस्ति where uh, the uh, where is the ball where is the ball ha uh, samyak ah uh, idani mista bhagni uh, patatu parvata kutra asati ah uh, santi parvata ah uh, kutra santi angla bhashayam uh, angla bhashayam parivartanam karotu वेर आर द माउंटेन्स वेर आर द माउंटेन्स बहुत सम्यक शिवकुमार महोदय भवान प्रवर्तन करोतु सर्वत्र सन्ति रिवर्स आर एवरीवेयर बहुत सम्यक अवधूत महोदय भवान नक्षत्र कुत्र अस्ति वेर इज द स्टार वेर इज द स्टार जानकी भगनी प्रवर्तन करोतु आंग्ल भाषायाम कपय कुत्र सन्ति वेर इज वेर आर द मंकीज हाँ वेर आर द मंकीज कशिष्ठ सपना भगनी भवती पठत रोटिकाज भठत टीचर्स आर एल्सवेयर अस्तु अजय भवान पढ़तु रामा अत्र अस्ति वा हम्म इज देयर रामा हां इज रामा हियर इज रामा हियर हां इज रामा हियर सो इज रामा देयर सो आर रामा तत्र अस्ति वा अदर uh, 
महोदय आई डोंट नो इज हम न जाना मी हम न जाना मी हम न जाना मी हम न जाना मी सम्यक अस्ति अहम अस्तु अस्तु कह विशिष्ट अस्ति शिव शिव कुमार भगवान पठितवान एवरी वन हैज स्पोकन और सम इज लेफ्ट कॉपी ऑफ सिस्टर अस्ति अस्तु फणिराज महोदय भवान वदतु अहम अत्र अस्मि अहम अत्र अस्मि हम्म मम माता पितौ न न वदतु आंग्ले भाषायां वदतु किं भविष्यति आई एम हियर आई एम हियर आई एम हियर अस्तु उमा भगनी वदतु मम माता पिता मम माता पिता अन्यत्र स्थ माय मदर एंड फादर आर एल्सवे व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ स्थ हां सम्यक प्रश्न एक पर्सन एक जन अस्ति अस्ति वचन अस्ति बहुवचन सन्ति बट वी ऑल्सो हेव दिवचन इन संस्कृत सो फॉर दिवचन अस्त माता पिता वेन वी रीड विभक्ति देन वील नो अबाउट दिस सो बट इफ यू रिमेम्बर द विभक्ति बालक बालको बालका राम राम रामा रामा सो वॉट हैपन्स हियर माता पिता आर टू सो माता पिता टुगेदर इफ यू काउंट दिम दे आर टू so sanskrit what happens in this rule that um uh when you um uh is 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 so if you put two words together uh then the second one we put the vibhakti of the second one when we is uh, write the word so it should be is not mata pita is a mata pitaro धन्यवाद सो माता पितर बिकॉज दे आर टू हेन्स वी आर यूजिंग दिवचनम सर इट वॉज पिता एंड माता पिता कमिंग फर्स्ट इट वी पिता मातर अभिभावक Uh, my mother and father are as astu. Ah, uh, Janki, what do you want to do? Do you want to do it? Deva, Kutra Asti. Hmm. Where is the God? Hmm. Where is God? स्मिता भगनी परिवर्तन करोतु आंग्ल भाषायां देव सर्वत्र असति 
God is everywhere. God is everywhere. Ah. Astu, um, Tulsi Bhava, Tulsi Mahode, Bhava, 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 God is everywhere, not God is God there. Is oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, God is everywhere. Dhanyavad. Bhavan, Atra Karya Karoti Kim hmm. Mahodaya, what work you are doing there? No, no. Here, here. Uh, here. What etas, work you are etas, doing here? Etas, etas, Angle Bhasayam Privatanam Guru to translate this in English. Bhavachanam. Ah, no, 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 Hmm. Karim ka Karoti. Ah, Kim. Astu, ah, agre... Kim uh, before, of course, I, uh, it would have been uh, ah. more clear. Ah. So, ah. that ah, does question, Kim 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 question Kim will be Bhavan Atya, Atra Karyam Karoti Va? Ah, Tatapi Samyakasti. Because Kim is. Kim Bhavati, what are you doing, right? Uh, I think Tulsi Raj, Tulsi Raj Mahadai said, isn't that is correct? Uh, so you can Kim use is a different uh, meaning, both. right? Then Va. Uh, uh, you can use uh, a Kim and uh, Va interchangeably. So you can also say Bhavan Atta Karim Karuti Kim. Do you work here? Or, or you can also say Bhavan Atta Karim Karuti Va. So, how do we say like what work so, you are doing here? Like, what? So what work uh, are you doing? So you can ask. Uh, you can ask uh, uh, two ways. So one is you can also say Kim Karyam Karoti Bhavan, Kim Karyam Karoti Bhavan, and there is another word called um, Kam. You can also say Kam Karyam Karoti Bhavan. So you can also, so uh, instead of putting Kim at the end, if you put Kim before uh, uh, Karyam, then you can ask what work you do. So you get marks for work. So, okay. Doesn't, uh, if I ask, okay, I have hmm. one, sorry for the doubt. No, no, no. So Kim Karyam Karoti. If I hmm. ask that, then... Hmm. Does it what Tulsira Mahadai say? That's what it becomes. Um, that's yeah, what, um, what work yeah. you are doing here? Satyam, Satyam. But, but doesn't Sanskrit, whatever the word, right? Hmm. The meaning still remains the same. Whether the word I put it in the middle or the end or the first. I can ask even Kim Bhavan Kar Atra Karya Karoti. Still the meaning will be the same, right? Then why that, we are I mean, changing the meaning of the question in Angla Bhashan? There are, I mean, um, so... If you move certain words, the meaning does change sometimes. So what you that's why for what we do, um, we use called Sandhi that time. So if you put the word, so what you can do is you can put Kim and Karyam together. Because there are certain words, if you uh, if you put the word at different place, that change the context. So other words are like for there is another word called Ava. So if you use Ava, depending upon where you use Ava, the meaning changes. So changing the word basically still make the sentence correct, uh, syntax wise. Um, but it can change the meaning. So what happens in 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 sentence in sorry language like English? Um, uh, if you if you don't put words in in right order, uh, you you won't get a meaning. To get a proper oh. meaning, the words have to be in certain order. In Sanskrit, that's not the case. Context. 
with you can to you can uh, yeah you can put the word in 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 any order and you still you you still get the um meaning but um with some words they do change the meaning uh if you change their position in the sentence and so a, a word like kim uh ever um uh when we read about ever uh, uh then we'll uh we'll uh discuss about that 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 change the meaning so if you want to avoid but you can avoid doing this and uh, you can avoid doing this by combining two words so you join two words together and then you can move them because when you um so you put kim and karyam together so you can do this right we can write like this Uh, okay. Sorry. I am Rami. Kim. King Karyam Karoti. Now this is now this is one word now, right? Now you move. Now you now now you will achieve what you are saying. So now you just move this anywhere in the sentence. So remove this. Now you just move this around. it the the meaning of the sentence will be same it won't change so you put kim karyam at the beginning at the end in the middle you put anywhere it will remain the same spashta asti bhagni so uh, i'm still a little bit confused mahoday because the other class right they mm. the the mahoday said that no matter where you put the word mm. meaning doesn't change of the sentence uh no so basically is um that's not uh, obviously abs absolute uh, truth i uh, uh, so if you uh, so depends on, two, depends on the the, con the context with so there two spoken. parts yeah so really there are two parts to that statement basically the one is that even if you change the order irrespective of what you will still have a correct syntactically correct sentence which is not mm -hmm. it doesn't happen in other languages so if you change the order in another language like uh, like um, in english we change the order um, it it might it might not be correct but um there are certain words which basically does change the meaning uh, and uh, and uh, uh, these are basically called obvious obvious so like kim eva um uh if you if you uh, if you change their uh, their uh, their uh, order they do change the uh, meaning and if you want to avoid that you can do that but in that case what you have to do is you have to put the word with the same word so for instance let's say you um you want to keep the meaning of the sentence in this case in, intact then what you can do is you can put those two words together using using this sandhi now mm. irrespective of how you move the words in the sentence it, it won't change okay yeah so let me just uh, let me uh, just give you uh another example mm -hmm. notepad plus plus uh oh sorry <laughs> okay uh, yeah that is a, it was there well, the problem is uh, i okay so um, there was a notepad plus plus i, I so let me see i let, let me see i want to say i um i only i only eat i eat i eat only or it may it may not be down let's say um uh, ram only eat okay ram only ram only eats 
root. And some tidy three sentences, Ram uh, eats fruit only. Ram eats fruit only. So we are saying Ram only eats fruit. So one meaning is um, Ra Ram only eats fruit. So you can say so only Ram eats fruit, oh, not this one. So only Ram eats fruit. So only Ram eats fruit means no one else. Only Ram eats fruit. Ram eats fruit only. Um, so Ram... Ram he eats fruit. He doesn't eat anything uh, else. What he eats is fruit. Ram and Ram eats, eats fruit. Ram only eats fruit. Ram only eats fruit. Sorry. Uh, Ram only eats fruit. Uh, Ram only eats fruit. Yeah. And Ram eats fruit only. Uh, so basically... <clears throat> Now, see, these three sentences are different. So, in first sentence, we say, only Ram eats fruit, means no one else, only he eats. Ram only eats fruit, means um, he eats fruit. He doesn't eat anything else, but he eats only fruit. And we say Ram eats fruit only, means Ram, this action of eating, is definitely he does. There's, there's no um, uh, um, uncertain, uncertainty there. So he does he, he always do this. So same thing he can use in Sanskrit, using Eva. So Ram eats fruit, we can say Ram, um, Eva, Ram, Eva, um, Ram, Eva, uh, uh, Khadati. Ram, Eva, Kalam, Kalam Khadati. And Ram, um, Ram, Ram, only eva eats fruit. Uh, Ram, Palam, Eva, Khadati. And here, Ram uh, eats, uh, sorry, no, not it, Ram, Khad, Khadati, Palam, Eva. So see, um, in the same in the sentence, by putting a differently, we get the different meaning. So in first sentence, we are saying only Ram eats fruit, but there are many person. Ram is there, Lachman is there, Sita is there, but among them, only Ram eats um, uh, fruit. fruit. Uh, other don't. And second, you're saying Ram Phalam A fruit means Ram only eats fruit. He doesn't eat anything else. Only thing he eats is fruit. The second sentence. Third, we are saying Ram eats fruit only. Means Ram. Um, so this action, Ram Khati Phalam Eva, means the act, means Ram definitely does this. The action of eating fruit, Ram does this action. There's no doubt about that. Astu? But if you see, but if you, uh, um, if you want to achieve that thing, right, you, that let's say, we, what you want to do is, irrespective of how you uh, use Eva, um, I want the same meaning. So what you do, you Combine Ram and Eva. So you do this Ram Eva. So in Sanskrit, uh, now I have the sorry. Uh, oh, that's that's so if so Sanskrit you can type like this. It is open now. Not here, right here. 
So in that example, you can type like this. Ram. So rather than typing Ram Eva, you type Ram Eva. Now Ram Eva Palam Khadati. Now you move the the words in any order. You put Ram. Now you put Ram here. It gives the same meaning. Now you put or you put the Ram at the end. It also gives the same meaning. But if you uh, split Ram and Eva, and then if you move Eva um, in any order, then it will change the meaning. So basically, you yeah, that's. Yeah. That's yeah, so that's achievable, but with there, there are certain um words in Sanskrit which does change the meaning uh, mm -hmm. if you change the order. Makes sense, Mother. As to so uh, one doubt, uh, Eva should follow the noun, is it? Whatever, no, no, it doesn't matter. So it so will give uh... the meaning, uh, so wh whatever it follows. It uh, basically put uh, what you call um, insistence on that word. So if you put after Ram, so it says Ram only. If you put after Falam, that means Falam only. And if you put after the verb, then it uh, uh, then it gives you uh, importance to the Kriya verb. So, so if I were to say uh, Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, Santi, Eva, Rama, Falam, Khadati, that would be right. Only Ram eats fruits. Ram, yeah, uh, Rama, Lachmana, Sita, Santi, Ram, Eva, Falam, Khadati. Oh, can Only I say Ram Eva, is... Rama, Eva, Rama, uh, Falam, uh, Khadati? Eva, Ram, uh, so generally, um, uh, we, so basically you put um, Eva after, uh, after the word. Okay. Uh, not, the, not before. So sentence will not start from Eva. Yeah, it, uh, I mean, I, when you write slokas, it, it, people even put this uh, it before as well. But uh, you uh, generally put it after the. Uh, I mean, if you, if, even if you put before that and um, uh, Ram, even that uh, would work uh, because nothing is before Rama. But if you, so let, let's say, but you put Sita Eva Rama, then A will go with Sita. But in this case, if you, if you say A Rama, it will still fine because nothing is before Rama. So that means A is with Rama. Astu, um, Shapna Bhagani, uh, uh, Na aham anyatra karyam karomi. No, I, I do, uh, Different work. Um, no, no, no. Anyatra. Aham. Uh, I work oh. somewhere else. Oh, Anyatra Karyam Karumi. Uh, yeah, yeah, I work somewhere else. So basically, I ask you, do you work here? Uh, oh, no. Bhavati Atra Karyam Karoti. So, so you say, no, 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 no. Aham Matra Karyam na Karumi. Aham Anyatra Karyam Karumi. Uh, okay, aham. Elsewhere. Aham. Uh, let me. I will see at the Bhavan at the Karim Karotiva Rotiva. Okay. Astu. Um, uh, 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 so what happens when we read about Sandhi, uh, when uh -huh. So what happens? Um, 
becomes अनुश्वास दिस इज कॉल्ड अनुश्वास सॉरी लेटर्स देन म बिकम अनुश्वार बट Uh, but uh, uh, if the next word is start with a uh, a uh, uh, swara then then it will be it will, it will remain ma or if it comes at the end of the sentence then also it will be it will remain it will keep the ma but if um uh, if it is not a uh, swara then it will become anushwara karyam so if um one at the karyam so if i say let's say if i say this right if i say ichhati first uh, sentence is example of that mode aham atra first sentence aham atra that a is there that's why ma become halanta प्रथम वाक्यूर म So, जैसे फॉर इंस्टेंस इफ आई राइट दिस लाइट सो इफ आई चेंज अत टू कुत्र नाउ हियर म विल बी अनस्वर इट विल बिकम लाइक दिस नाउ अहम कुत्र बिकॉज इट इज स्टार्ट विथ सो बेसिकली दिस ए नेम फॉर दिस थिंग कॉल कठोर व्यंजनानी so if you so you know if you remember the alphabet ka ka ga ga ang cha cha ja ja i ya ta ta da da na ta tha da da na pa pa ba ba ma so first two letters right um dev nagari script uh, the images Uh, yeah let me check this so we see uh, so you see this line right so ka ka ga ga ng so first two letters so ka kha from first row cha cha from second row ta tha from third row ta tha from um, fourth row and pa pha from fifth row so first two letters they are called kathor vyanjanani okay um and uh, ga 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 anga is uh, is called uh, madhur vyanjanani um so if you have uh, um uh, uh, this vyanjan uh, then sorry i uh, i said wrongly when i said only two especially if for any vyanjan if it is a vyanjan so if if you have any vyanjan like ka ka ga ga anga cha cha ja ja cha cha ja what you call um as so if you have any of these letters then uh, ma makar becomes uh, anushwar but if it is um, uh, what you call um, uh, swara then it will remain at it is or if it comes at the end so even even if for this even this sentence if i do this right so if i say atrasmi now if i say sorry so if i say kutra as kutra if i say kutra asmi aham then it will be so if you like if you write like this then you can keep the mo because it comes at the end so either it is either the word is at the end or it is after a 
or it is, or it is before a swara uh, sabda. In that case, it will keep the ma. But if, if you if the next uh, word start with the venjan, then the ma will become anushwar. Now it makes sense. Yeah. अग्रे अग्रे पठती अस्तु कोपि संशय अस्ति वट एवर वी हेव रेड सो फार no so uh yeah. for pullingi srilingi napusakalingi atra kutra tatra sarvatra anyatra oh. beca- re- remains same remains same. so atra tatra uh, uh, napusakalinga they are called avyay so mean they don't change they always remain same so atra so, tatra anyatra sarvatra kutra you can use in all the lingas and all okay. the vachanas this this word uh, atra tatra anyatra sarvatra becomes uh, ma as well like do we ever say like anyatram sarvatram kutram uh, no more the no right okay no thank you. sarvatra na okay uh, uh, so vayam uh, ekam uh, 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 nutanam visayam pathamah no varsha srana so you might have um, seen right uh, that somewhere uh, we use uh, no somewhere use um, or all. um so basically um, there is a rule uh, in sanskrit is called ratvam rule uh, it tells that when no change in to um so uh, let's just uh, uh, look at a few examples uh, so like the word um, the word uh, we uh, uh, we read like karnaha but actually the word is karnaha the karnaha becomes karna similarly uh, um, um we have this um uh, word krishna so actually it is krishna is not krishna but uh, krishna becomes krishna similarly it is vishnu not vishnu actually it is vishnu but vishnu become vishnu due to this ratvam rule so what is the rule this, this is the rule so the rule says that if you have these three letters varna before na what varna r sh r r if you if these varna come before na then na become la so when we read about bhaktis we will see more more uh, example but uh, we just uh is, is little bit uh, advanced but reason but reason we put this so that when you, you know when we read stories when we read sentences uh you can identify the change uh that why we have no somewhere and why we have no somewhere um so these three letters r sh and r they they make no change in to la and is and that's and here we see some example so karna become karna krishna become krishna vishnu become vishnu and if we see the division right so ka a ra na a that's how 
when you divide Krishna uh, Das, if you put every Varna separate, uh, that's how you write it. So if you see, did you, uh, if you look at this rule, so what happens? You have R before Na. Hence, Na becomes Rana. And Krishna Karna becomes Karna. Similarly, if you look at the Krishna, if you, if you, so if you uh, write every word separate, that's how you write Krishna. Huh? So you have ka, ka, not ka, ka, r, sh, m, uh -huh. Now, so you, since you have sh before m, this becomes r. Similarly in Vishnu. So we have same rule in Pitrinam as well. So if you see here, we have in Pitrinam, we have e, th, r, r, Mm, ah, mm. But since you have r before m, na become r. Hence we uh, 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 read pitrinam, not pitrinam. Pitrinam, na becomes r. Astu. Kopi sansi asti? Prashna asti? So uh, even dirgara or the smaller one, they both will be considered right yes because yes. in so, true naam there is a bigger rule ha 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 uh, 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 or uh, do opi uh, have same effect mahodaya i have this doubt uh, previously and uh, i was reading two, two words yesterday one is ankani another hmm. was his kankani hmm. i was going through the vocabulary so Hmm. Ankani is pencil, so the knee hmm. is the first na that we have mentioned. And for Kankani, it was the sake na that was mentioned in the word. Uh -huh. so how do we differentiate? Is there any rule uh, applicable? This rule doesn't fit that because Ankani, Kankani, the end for Ankani is uh, the first na. Uh -huh. And for no, Kankani, Kankani, kankani Tatrutu Nami uh, Eva Tathai Vasti. Their oh, okay. name, the name is like that. Name is fixed. Okay, okay. Ah, Tatra name is like that only. Yesterday I was yeah, reading so, it and I was having that doubt whether this na or uh, yeah. No, no, no. So basically, Tatra, uh, the name is like that. So your Kankani Ra is there. Assume. Is that, uh, is the rule applies uh, basically? Um, so th this rule comes into play uh, basically when, whenever you read Vibhaktis. So like, you know, we, we have bhakti called um, Balka Balko Balka, Balkam Balko Balkan, Balkan, right? Balkan Balkabhyam Balkai, if you remember. But when we read Rama, it's uh, we call Ramen, we don't call Ramen. So because this rule, uh, Trithiya in Rama become Ramen. So when we read bhakti, uh, um, uh, then we'll, uh, we'll clear it. But we have just... Uh, we are reading this uh, here just in case we you know when we read uh, uh, stories or shlokas, uh, then now we, we come across a, a, a word like this, it then uh, it'll be fit, it'll be, it will be in your, your memory that it is na and la. But don't don't uh, worry too much about this now. When we read bhakti, it will be uh, even clearer. Mm -hmm. Deepak Mahode, Hanji, uh, Rudayam, uh, hmm. Bahuachana, Bahuachana, hmm. Rudayani, hm, uh, Astua, Rudayam, Rudayani, ha, some make some make some make. Then they were, hm. Ah, so here uh, they have basically uh, giving some more rules. So what they're saying is that. Um, if between R, Sh, and Ru, even if you get Swaras, and even if you get these letters like K, Varga, and P, Varga, um, in that case, uh, even, in, even, in, even then, um, the rule applies. So we see in Grihani, uh, between R, and no, you have her. 
but even then grihani becomes grihani and if you see um, in a puspani between m mm and uh, sure you have pa but even then um na becomes sara and similarly in chhatrani if you see chhatrani between m mm and um uh, ra you have a but even then na becomes ra similarly in indriyani we see between r and m mm, you have e and you also have a y and you also have a but even then indriyani becomes indriyani no question you might ask what happens if there are others so if between r and s if you get other words like if you get t varna or t varna then they disturb then the n won't become r so only between r r s and r if you get these four categories so swaras ha ya va ka varga or pa varga even then the rule will apply so just uh, um, so in this one right it is a ta right it's not a then why we did why we converted chatrani putra putra bhagni in the chatrani so so the ta is before na so uh, the rule is between r and n yeah. so we see ta is before ta is not after so after r you have a so that's right. why n becomes sar so the rule is that between these three and n if you have even if you get these four types of letters even then rule will apply so what you saying is t is there but t is before r if the t would have been here then n wouldn't change but t is here so t is not not making not having any role here there is no role of t here so you are saying r uh, there is a a uh, after the r uh, that's why it becomes a uh, no 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 that not that's why having a uh, doesn't make a difference Okay, so let's go to first one. So what first first one say that if you get r s and r be before n, um, n become r, right? Correct. Like see Vishnu, you get s before n, right? Mm -hmm. In Krishna, n becomes uh, r because there is s here. So what next rule is just giving is basically giving you more um, detail. It's going deeper. What he's saying is that. even if between s and n even if you get more letters and if those letters are from this family swara ha ka varga pa varga even then n become r so what is saying is that if these two if these four categories if they if they come between r and n they won't do any difference the rule will still apply So what they're saying is that they don't affect the rule. They don't affect the Nardatvam rule. Uh, Deepak Mahoday, Krida na Krida na Kani, Krida na Krida na Kani. Hmm. Wa, na to Krida na Kani, Krida na Kani. Ani. Kani, Kani na Kani. because there is kani, the kani because, kani yeah because what happens in kiran kani if i write kiran kani here amo so we write kiran kani yeah we write k k vanjan so kri alpa swara k kani right uh, where is why not giving me the k kri Uh, 
but it will still not do right funny raja mahadev because in the ra there is a da in between ha that that's the yeah that's what there, there but there is a da also is there so it will still be treated in a kani so what happens here mode uh, you have ko so you, you have ko you have ko ra then you have a uh, ra ra e then you have a uh, uh, then you have a uh, then you have da then you have da e right then ko ra e sorry 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 chame tam chame e e e e e not e is e e is e r r na r no is a creed ka is is a creed a creed ka oh okay 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 is not so in this it actually it is um, uh it is this one creed ka double e double e so if you see the and then you have then you have creed then you again have ka then you have a and then you have no ah right uh creed ka and also we have to put a ani ah creed right the the now we see here um uh the thing is that we between, between ra and uh, na we are getting da and that's break the rule ah that's why creed and kani remains creed and kani na remains ra it doesn't change to um ra because some, the, some, some. Yeah, because of the da, because da is in ta varga. Asto mahat, asto. And I, and um, uh, uh, let me. And you know why? Why it happens? Ah, uh, point of. Uh, um. Uh, what do you call um? Mm -hmm. Devanagari. Devanagari letters with mouth uh, position. It's blur, mother. Okay, you are not getting good image. There is a one uh, one of the PP, PPD had the yeah. this this picture I think. Yes, yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, so basically, what happens? Um, First one. Yeah, so basically, what happens is um, is due to um, so when you when you speak the letters um, uh, for to um say different word words, your tongue move right. So what happens? Um, a n r r and l they are spoken from same place tal ha so that's why what happens is that is in sanskrit uh, was mainly uh, a spoken language so in sanskrit the flow was important so the rules even the sandhi rule that we have sanskrit the, the purpose of sanskrit rule is sandhi is that so that when we speak your flow doesn't get disturbed so all these rules are there so that when you when we speak your tongue has to move as less as possible so it will conserve energy plus your your speaking will be will, will be smooth because if you speak r and r your tongue doesn't have to move it will remain in the same place r r you can try r r but if you say r and n your tongue have to move right r n r n So when you speak slow cars or when you speak fluently, if you speak ra and na, your tongue will move, and it and it disturb the flow of your, uh, your bhasha. <coughs> That's why we have this rule. Even sandhi rule that in Sanskrit the whole, you don't have, see in Sanskrit you don't need to do sandhis. You can speak the word separately, but the beauty of Sanskrit comes from the flow. and all this rule even sandhi rule and all this rule are there so that um your your speaking is very smooth kastu that yeah that is very interesting mother ha anyway ha dhanya dhanya ha astu astu na um, bhavan kah bhavati ka i think we did this initially uh, but let's revise it so that we don't forget so um aham prichami aham prichami aham prichami Uh, जानकी भगनी 
आप पूछे भवती का भवती का अहम वदतु जननी अहम जननी अहम गृहिणी अहम वैद्या अहम जानकी यू कैन आल्सो शेयर यू कैन आल्सो शेयर नेम एज़ वेल सो आई एम लाइक आई मीट यू एज अ भवती का सो हु आर यू व्हाट आर यू करेक्ट गिव्स यू बोथ द थिंग्स सो हु आर यू भवती का अहम जानकी अहम जननी शिवकुमार महोदय भवान कह हम छात्र हम छात्र अहम वैद्य फंडीराज महोदय वो भवान कह अहम फंडीराज अहम कृषक अहम कृषक बहु सम्यक पार्वती भगनी वो भवती का अहम छात्रा अहम छात्रा अहम गृहिणी अहम जननी स्मिता भगनी वो भवती का अहम गृहिणी अहम गृहिणी अहम अहम भगनी अहम अनुजा अहम मगजा आई एम एल्डर सिस्टर आई एम एंगर सिस्टर आई एम सिस्टर तनवी भगनी भवती का अहम छात्रा अहम छात्रा अहम पुत्री आई एम डॉटर अहम भगनी आई एम सिस्टर अवधूत भवान बदतु भवान कह अहम अभियंता अहम अभियंता कीदृशम अभियंता संगणक अहम संगणक अभियंता बहुत सम्यक ध्रुव भगनी वदतु भवती का अहम महिला अहम महिला अहम पत्नी अहम भगनी अहम जननी अहम शिक्षिका अहम छात्रा बहुत सम्यक नटराज महोदय भवान वदतु भवान कह अहम अग्रज सम्यक अहम कर्मकर अहम कर्मकर अहम श्रोता अपि अहम श्रोता अहम श्रोता अहम आई एम लिस्नर अहम वक्ता आई एम स्पीकर अहम वक्ता वक्ता हां सो यू कैन सी बेसिकली व्हाट यू आर डूइंग व्हाट यू डू फॉर लिविंग और योर रिलेशनशिप इन सो इन सो इन सो यू कैन ऑल यू कैन आस्क ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर रिलेशनशिप फॉर वर्क भवान कह भवती का धन्यवाद महोदय श्लोक अहम पठा न्याय प्रवृत्त तीर्यचोपी सहायता अपंथन तु गोदरोपि विमुंचति अन्य कोपि पढ़ इच्छति जानकी भगनी पठत ओ आई थोड़ी ओके न्याय प्रवृत्त विमुंचति मीनिंग लेटर बट फर्स्ट आई विल गिव यू द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सम वर्ड्स सो यांती यांती इज एंड दर वर्ड फॉर गच्छंती सो लाइक वी से गच्छती गच्छत गच्छंती वी हैव याती एज वेल सो इफ यू रिमेम्बर यू यू हर्ड यू वेट हर राइट आयात निर्यात यू वेट हर राइट आयात निर्यात Mm-hmm. So that that no ayat niryat export export in export import yes. ayat niryat 
so that so right. that's ayat ayat comes from this word only yati so that's the yati is another word for go so gachanti so yanti means gachanti triyanchah triyanchah means animals apanthanam means uh, those who are on wrong path apanthanam means those who are on wrong path not not those the one the one who is on sorry this is mistake here the one the one on wrong so the one who is on wrong path is apanthanam so panthanam means marg or way and a is here uh, uh, is called so like in, in in english right we have these prefixes like this un they they make antonyms right they change the meaning yeah, so, so similarly in sanskrit we have this a uh, i change the meaning is it negate the uh, is make the antonym so panthanam means marg a panthanam means bad bad way means um you are doing wrong someone who does wrong thing or who is who is on the path of adharma gachantam the one who is going so gachantam means the one who is going um i will not elaborate uh, what kind of uh, vyakaran it is here uh, because it is advanced topic uh, i think it, it will covered in next course is not in this course um so is is a form of uh, gachanti uh but this means is the one who is going gachantam the one who is going sodara means brother vimunchati means leave or throw so if you are giving up you are leaving that also vimunchati if you throw so you know throw the ball or throw arrow hit the arrow that also you uh, we also use vimunchati for there a mukti dena that also muncha so you if you come there are some shlokas where they uh, we we uh, no request to god that uh, mukt give us mukti from this mrityu loka so in that also we say muncha so moons means uh, muncha uh, is leave throw astu agre chalama so if you see uh, now what is what we have here is that we have written the same shloka in sentence form so what happens when you read when you write shlokas uh, we write shlokas there is something called chand chand rules so the shloka is written in a way such that they they are read nicely so you can sing them so for singing there is something rules called chand rules um so to get a meaning to get a meaning properly from shloka uh, what we do is we we arrange them in uh, sentences a sentence in sanskrit is called gadd so the shloka is called padya padya means kavita shloka they are all called padya roop and sentences are called gadya so the same shloka that i written here yanti na pravittas triyanchopi sahayatam apantan pantanam tu gachantam sodaropi vibunchati i have written that in sentence form so we see now we read like this teryan chopi teryan chopi nyaya pravittasya sahayatam yanti that that means teryancha api teryancha means animals animals api animals to nyaya pravittasya sahayatam yanti even the animals help whom so triyan chopi so we can read like this triyan chopi means animals to sahayata yanti they go for the help triyan chopi means animals api or if you like i can write them separate them uh, you can write like this as well triyan cha api that's better right So the duty sandhi triyancha become triyancho, but that's like this. So let's write like this. It be it is clearer. So triyancha api means animals to sahayatam yanti go for the help. Whose help? Nyaay pravittasya. So even the animals go for.
for the help of those who follow the path of dharma so this actually this um slow subastani is for ramayana right in ramayana even the squirrel he helped build this he helped build the setu for lord rama because lord rama was following the path of dharma so that's what it says that tiryancha api means animals too nyay pravittasya means the follower of dharma it help them it goes for their help sahayatam yanti means it goes for their help in yanti you can also put gachanti that also fine so the same mean doesn't doesn't uh, make a difference so yanti gachanti same a kopi sansha asti yatra aspashta asti astu agre chalama sodaro api okay so let me uh, uh, change this as well to uh, let me remove the sandhi sodarah api sodarah api tu apanthanam gachhantam vimunchati so sodara means brother brother api even brother even brother vimunchati what brother does brother even brother sodarah api oh. गोइंग Going where? Apanthanam. Adharma. Going on the path of adharma. So what he's saying is that if you are following a path of dharma, even animals come for your help. But if you go on path of adharma, even your own brother will uh, won't give you company. He will Ab abandon you. Abandon you. Like Vivekananda and Ravana. Ha. Huh. So here. the the so first one is for uh, first is for uh, lord rama and second sentence is for ravana the first is the yes and the meaning is here if you see what we just discussed is written here so those who follow the path of dharma get help even from animals and those who follow the path of dharma are left even by their brothers अस्तु क्षम्यताम्यताम्यू सो वयम कथा शुणुम इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन you can stop in the middle you can ask say that i have this doubt then you can ask yeah you don't have to wait for uh, for the end uh, so if you have any doubt when the when the story uh, goes on just let me know if any doubt then we can discuss uh. Mode, any audio is there? Oh, audio not coming. No, not for me. Audio is not coming. You have oh. to share sound from where you are sharing. Yeah, yeah. So, chum metam, chum metam. That's true. That's true. Um. 
and you can make it go slow playback uh, stop video share blur video settings on the right side of where you are sharing there is a share sound on the right side there is like a panel over there on your okay. share screen there is a panel which lets you share sound let me says remote control pause share and it says share sound that's right here and let me change the settings uh playback make, and play i make it slow yeah, yeah. the sound me... will also not sound right probably is, the, is coming now this voice yes 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 it's coming it's too slow is it yes yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay let me do saha grame vasati ekada सह नगर गति सह नगरे शिस्त्री क्रीणाति शिस्त्री पेटिकाया स्थापयति पुनः ग्राम प्रति गति मगे वन अस्ति सुधीर श्रांति सह वृक्ष अध उपति पार्श्वे शिस्त्रपेटिका स्थापयति निद्रा कौति वृक्षे वनरा सीथिंग ओके क्वेश्चन क्रीडाती वानर अध आगछति पेटिका उद्घाटयति सो उद्घाटयति मींस ओपन सो द द मंकी ही ओपन द बॉक्स एकम शिरस्त्रम गृह्णाति शिरसि धरति सो गृह्णाति मींस टेक और ग्रैब सो इवन फॉर ग्रैबिंग अ बॉल grabbing things we use the uh, uh, kriya grihnaati grihnaati dharati means wear um so so let's let's say if you want to say i wear a t-shirt right or wear a sari so hum uh, yutakam dharami aur hum sari satikam dharami so or uh, i wear trousers so hum urukam aur Uh, ur dharami. So for wear, we can use the word dharati. Uh, he wears sah dharati. I wear aham dharami. And grahati uh, means take, right? Grahati means take grab. or grab. Grab also. Catch, catch as well. You know. So let's say you, you tell your daughter or son, uh, throw the ball. I will catch. So you can say munchatu. Kun kandu ka munchatu aham grihnami. i will catch there is something yeah. else also you said for throw right chipati ha chipati munchati both okay chipati munchati uh, you can say both ha eh? astu prakshasya upari gachati tatra upavishati upavishati means sit uh, uh, sit, sit down yeah down ha. sit down upri means uh, so upri here is um, uh, go up and and it doesn't change it's called avyay upri gachati he goes up so you can ask for you can use up for 
for any up. So you have first floor in the house. You can say he's go. He has gone to the. Uh, he he go. Uh, he has gone up. So you can say sahupuri uh, gachati. So up anywhere on the tree in the house, first floor or or or, or, or top floors or on the mountain up. So for everywhere you want to use up, you can use upari. Sarve vanaraha etat pashyanti te api adha agachanti shirastrani dharanti. So uh, here we see the word adha. Adha means down. Um, so uh, um, so you, if you want to say like, you know, let's say you are on first floor, right? You have your flat or you have in a house, you have two floors. You say, it's okay, uh, someone asks you, where is, where is father or where is daughter? You can say, he's, he's down. So you can say? Other is down three. or under, Mahodhya. Under or down. So you can use in both things. Okay. So you uh, can use down as well, or you can see, you can use uh, 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 under as well. So you can say, so let's, let's say in this case, you can say daughter is adha, putri adha asti, daughter is down. Or let's say you want to say he's sitting under the tree. So there we can also say richest adha upavisati. So Mohde, uh, adha is antonym for uparaha? Upari? Ha, um, 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 some way. Is antonym for um, uh, up upari. Sirastrani, the so Sirastrani means, uh, so uh, Sirastra means one cap, Sirastrani means many Bagos. cap. Uh, dharanti, because uh, it, now there, there are many, uh, uh, that's why we have Dharanti. Is it like Shirastra or it's Shirastra? Sirastram. Like Shirastra, we don't divide that as Shiras. Sorry, no, Shiras Vastra is. Hastam Vastra, we have handkerchief. Okay. Shira Vastra, no, it's Shirastra. Okay, sorry. Ha, so Shirastra. Eka Sabdasti, Shirastra. Shirastrani Dharanti Vrikshe Upavishanti Sudhira Uttishthati. Uttishthati means. Wake up. Wake up. means wake up. Also, wake up. Up. also means uh, get up. Get up. Okay. So, so both wake it is, up and it is, get up. This is uh, antonym for upavishati. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, basically, uttishati it can be as well, but uttishati okay. you can also use for get up. Means you know you are asleep, and then uh, you 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 got up right. That mm -hmm. also means uttishati, and if you stand up, that also uttishati. Okay. So in, in, in case of a stand up, it is antonym of uh, Upavisati. But you can also use for, for, for instance, if you see here, he's not standing up, but he mm. he got up. So basically he woke up from sleep. So in this case also use Uttishati. So you it actually use for both um uh, uh waking up or standing up. Or it's like too, it's like too get too up, up, like get up, use get up yeah. for both in English. For you, yes, for waking up, for, I use get up, but for standing up, I also use get up. Peti kam pashyati. Peti kayam shirastrani na santi. So we say peti kayam is a, uh, is a, is a special form of peti ka. That means in the box. So if you see, if you go back here, so see, these things you should notice and then you should ask question as well. Uh, I mean, it, it is, it is, we haven't just covered this thing, but uh, when we go further, when you, uh, later, uh, uh, um, it will uh, it will be in, in our in memory. So we see here, we say, here we say petikam pasati. So he sees the petika. But if you see here, the word we are using here is petikayam. Now, here petikayam means in the petika or on the petika. So petikayam changes the meaning. So in Sanskrit, like say in, in, in English, we use something called preposition, right? 
to tell uh, about things. But in Sanskrit, we don't have a preposition. In Sanskrit, uh, the meaning of preposition or meaning between uh, word and the and the kriya, sabda and kriya comes from the word itself. So, in the if you see in the last word, sudhira uttishthati petikam pasthati. So here, petikam means two petika, a two box. So sudhir is looking at petika. So he is looking at the petika. So here, petika is the karma of seeing. And here, what is say? We here if we go further. Here is petika yam. So here. Petikaya means in the petika, in the box. So this is called vibhakti. So, so if you remember, if you have studied in school, right? Rama, 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 Rama. That's what vibhakti do. It, it tells you relationship between the word and the kami. So, petikayam santi. So here the kriya is santi means hai, uh, or. So, caps are in box. So, in the box, that in comes from petika only. There is no preposition, there is no word for in. In is inside this petikayam. Petikayam has the meaning inside petika. That's a bhakti, which we'll uh, learn later. But I think it's good to discuss this thing um, um, when you read the stories. So, this story gives. Uh, um, help us understand the structure of the sentence. Kopi Prashnasti? Nastu. Ayam Hirastrani na Santi Saha Upari Pashyati Banaranam Shirasi Shirastrani Santi. Okay, see, now here we, we see here. Again, we look at the word, it says Vanaranam. Now, Vanaranam vanara means of monkeys. So, Vanaranam seriously means of the head of um, one of the monkeys. The, the cap was there. So, cap was there on, of, on the head of whom? So this is, here, if you see, here he says Sirsi. Rani Santi. So Sirsi, sorry. So Sirsi means on the head. And on the head of whom? Vanaranam. Here we, here we are not saying Vanaraha or Vanaraha. We are saying Vanaranam. So Vanaranam means of the Vanars, of the monkeys. Of the monkeys what? Sirsi means on. Sirasi, so Sirah means head. Sirasi means on the head. Astu, Spashta Asti? Um, is, uh, um, um, so, uh. Shirastrani Santi Sudhira Dandam Darshayati. Hmm. So uh, Pasatu Atra uh, uh, Kriyati Darshayati. So Pasati means to see and Darshati means to so, so this is very useful kriya uh, um, uh, to to remember. So to darshati show, means uh, to show. Darshayati, darshayati, darshayati. darshayati. Ha. Okay. Ha. So you can say, show your hand. Hastau darshayatu. Show your. So if you go to, so let's say you, if you go to a shop, right, and you want to tell the shopkeeper, show me uh, the new books or new clothes. What will you say? Pustakam Nutanani Pustakani Darsayatu Yapir Nutanani Vastrani Darsayatu Astu Astu Ekahavana Raha Vrikshasya Shakam Darsayati. Okay, see, uh, if here again, if you see, Vrikshasya. So here, Vrikshasya means of. Tree. Now, here see, we see Vanaraha. Vanara means monkey. Vrichas of the tree. Of tree what? Sakham means branch. Darsyati. 
सो सुधीर किम दर्शयति सुधीर दंडम दर्शयति वानर किम दर्शयति वानर साकाम दर्शय हां ही सोइंग द ट्री तस्य शाखां दर्शयति सुधीर शिलाखंडम क्षिपति वानराः फलानि क्षिपन्ति सुधीर चिन्तयति हम्म सो चिन्तयति मींस थिंक हम्म अहम तो इफ यू से इफ यू वांट टू से अहम चिन्तयामि किम तेन तथा किम भविष्यति कोपि वदति अहम चिन्त आई एम थिंकिंग हाउ डू यू से आई एम थिंकिंग अहम चिन्तयामि अहम चिन्तयामि हां अवसी अत एकम अन्यत्र क्रिया अस्ति अनुकुर्वन्ति सो अनुकुर्वन्ति मींस कॉपी uh let's say so let's say you want to say i copy you how would you say vadatu kok vadati i copy kurvami na kurvami na 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 kurvami na aham anukaromi anukaromi so i copy you aham anukaromi aham tvam anukaromi yeah tvam tvam okay aham tvam anukaromi tvam let's say uh, want to say my daughter uh, my daughter is copying me how do you say mama putri hm anukaromi mam putri ma anukaromi ma ma anukaromi ma ma anukaromi okay anukaroti mam putri ma anukaroti ya mam putri ma anukaroti sanshay asti kopi agre chalama ama ama ha मम कार्यम इति सुधीरस्य शिरसी शिरस्त्रम अस्ति सो वेरी कॉमन टर्म इज फॉर मेक अ प्लान राइट सो इंग्लिश ही मेक अ प्लान सो इन संस्कृत यू कैन से उपाय करोती और यू कैन देयर आर दिस अदर वर्ड कॉल योजना योजना की मोद है उपायम आइडिया हां एक उपायम करोती ही मेक अ प्लान ही मेक अ ही ही मेक एन आइडिया यू कैन यूज उपायम और योजना एज वेल योजनाम करोती उपायम करोती in uh, bhuktiman shishya we have this uh, word in our there ha ha you uh, if the, the shishya will ask to the guru you you yourself will say the answer ha bhavan bhavan putra nasti ha tatra asti samadhanam karoti okay sadhan means uh, uh, give solution but you can use uh, upayam as well there upay tell me the upay means how you solve this so upay means upay is very uh, uh, what do you call um, has multiple facet so you can use in many context for idea for plan um, for solution in all three context you can use it astu tah ekam upayam karoti सह शिरस्त्रम अधः क्षिपति अस्तु एकम अभ्यासम का कुरुवा वयम अच्छा लेट्स सी वांट टू सी ही आई थ्रो द पेन ऑन द ग्राउंड और आई थ्रो द पेन डाउन हाउ विल हाउ विल वी से हम 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 लेखनी अंकनी लेखनी अध्य क्षिपति सो महोदय वॉट हैपन्स वेन वी वर्क ऑन समथिंग वी देन लेखनी विल बिकम लेखनीम हाँ सो वेन वी थ्रो द लेखनी विल यूज द कर्म कर्म रूपम वयम अहम लेखनीम अधः छिपामी बिकॉज आई एम अहम लेखनी छिपामी हाँ लेखनी ऑन द फ्लोर डाउन 
so I'm throwing the lekni on the ground. Or you can say, um, uh, putra or putri uh, throwing the pen or uh, throwing the toy. So mamputri uh, kandukam adaha chipati. She throwing the ball down. Mamputri kandukam adaha chipati. So you can make sentences like this. So you, basically you can read the stories and you know you can use these uh, kriyas and this, these words and you can make your sentences for day-to-day -day life. And that's where you'll be uh, you'll be remember. You you'll build up your uh, your 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 uh, vocabulary. So, so Shirastrani was the word, right? No, so, word is Shirastram. Shirastrani means mean Bahuvachanas. Bahuvachan, okay. Ha. So like you know, Falam Fale Falani. Ek fal is yes. Falam, Dvi Fal is Fale, Teen Mini Fal is Falani. Shrastram is okay. one topi, one cap. Shrastrani means many caps. So, many. okay, okay. Because so, in that so, case, there are there are many vanra, there there many monkeys. Correct, That's correct. Shrastrani. So I, I it got confused. So when we use this is because of Napusakalinga, right? Shrastram. Ah, 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 so, satyam, but, satyam. but even if Lekhani is Strilinga, while hmm. using in this sentence, we will use it as Lekhanim. Because no, we no, are no. So, so, yeah, so, so if you use if you throw one lekhni, you'll say lekhnim. But if you right. say want to say I throw many lekhnis, so lekhnis karmarup uh bahuachan is lekhni. Lekhni. So you say you'll say aham lekhni chipami means I throw many pins down. Okay. So like say see it, look in this case. Uh, this guy is throwing just one cap, right? So yes. he's uh, so you are saying, sir, system other chip. Let's say if he let's say if he throw many caps, then you will yeah. say, sir, brother, to sir, shirastrani hi adha chipa chipat. Ha, shirastrani na bhoti visarga nasti si shirastrani. Okay, shirastrani. Okay, sir, shirastrani adha chipati. Chipati. If I uh, want to say, why are you throwing toys on the floor, right? Uh, Does this sentence make sense? Bhavati kridakani adha kim chipati. No, no, no. Kimartham. Why is it? Why is Kimartham? So, Bhavati kridakani adha kimartham chipati. Uh, why are you throwing Kimartham? So, we'll read. So, in Sanskrit, they call sabka karas. Kimartham, kutra, kutaha, kim... Uh, uh, katham, kati. We read about mm -hmm. this, but but if you see, we we'll read. See, um, we will read about this later. But if you have any doubt like this, or you want to know, right, how to say this, you should always ask. So now you can mm -hmm. note this down. Ki, ki, uh, kimartham. Mm. But this this thing is part of our course. We we'll read about this uh, 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 in next classes. So, uh, Kimartham is for why? Ask to Mohde, Pichatu? Someone asked you some question? I think I, I interrupted him. No, no Mohde. Ask to us. Kshiparti Sarve Vanaraha Shirastrani Adha Kshipanti so if you see here, we found another word called Sangrihati. Sangrihati means collect. So let's say, uh, uh, I, uh, let's say you want to say, uh, I am collecting fruit. So you, let's say you went to, uh, you, you know, you went to a garden. There were, there were fruits or flowers on the ground and you're collecting them. Or you're collecting stones. So you can use this. Sangrihanati. So let's say, how would you say I'm collecting stones? Anyone anyone aham, want to try? Aham. Aham. aham Sangrihanati. Uh, aham. Shilakandam. Shila, Sangrihanami. Sangrihanami. Yes, yeah, so, sang, so Shilakandam is one. But if you since you're collecting, you're collecting many, right? 
So you will say Shilakandani. 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 No, Shilakandani. So Shilakand. Uh, so Shilakhanda is Pullingasti. Pullingasti. So Pullingasti. Shilakhandan. Aham Shilakhandan. Sangrihanam. I am collecting isn't, stones. Isn't it Shilakhanda? Ha. For Bhavachan. Ah. So Shilakhanda Bhavachan asti prathamam purse. Yadi Shilakhanda ha karta asti tarhi. So if, if you use Shilakhand as a karta, means if you want to say there are there are many stones on the ground, then you say Silakhanda Santi. But if you want to if, but if you want to use Silakhand as an object, yeah. okay. then you'll use the karma karma roop. Karma roop will be silakhandan. Silakhand. So okay. let's say we want to say uh, I am collecting uh, flowers. How do you say? Pushpan aham pushpani sangra rang sangrahayami. Ah, sangrahami. So you, you so we we studied right. We studied bahuvachana of uh, all three yeah. pullinga, srilinga, and uh, napusaklinga. Yeah. So push pushpa means napusaklinga. So how do pushpani sangrahani? And so how do you say how the bahuvachana? Bada tu. There also we are doing the same, right? Pushpan. Pushpani, that's a bahuvachanam, right? Ah, no, so, so that Pushpani... doesn't become a karma. The karma and karma no, no, is so, same. Uh, so, so in in uh, Napunsak Linga, uh, karta and karma has same form. We will yeah. yeah. so, so, That is why that lekhanim become lekhanim uh, in other, other No, no, the, uh, the lekhani lekhani is, is still still linga, still. right? It's not a Napunsak. Yeah. No, no, but Le when we say aham lekhanim adha kshipami, that becomes lekhanim, right? Haan, lekhanim. Yeah, lekhanim. Yeah. Because it was stilingi. Haan, stilingi. Yeah. Now there is so, a confusion. It's okay. We'll no, no. Lekhanim. So when it, when, when it is a napusakalinge, jan ki bagini, it, uh -huh. it stays as it is. But if it is not napusakalinge, it is pullinga or stilinga, it's karma, karmani. Means if anything's happening on that object, then it changes. So basically, right. what happens in so what happens in case of Napunsak Linga, the both form are same. So, like say, Falam, uh, Falam, uh, so fruit is sweet, Falam Madura Masti, Falam Atrasti, Atra Falam Kimasti, Falam Atra uh, Kartasti. Hmm. But when you hmm. say, I am um, eating the fruit, Aham Falam Khadami, so uh, Falam. In both karm and karta, phalam is phalam. There is no change. Okay. That's why easy. But in case of pullinga or in case of istilinga, the form changes. Yeah. Say, okay. For instance, we say um, Rama, Ram goes. So Rama gachati. Aham, uh, I speak with Rama. Aham Ramam vadami. Because Ram, um, Karma Padam is Ramam. Hmm. So, hum Ramam Madami. So, thrilling and pulling, they both we will add as a Ma at the end, basically. Aha. Aha. In, in, in Karma Roop, in Ek Vachan, um, uh, they will add Ma. In Bahu Vachan, in, in Bahu Vachan, in Pullinga, it will be Na. So, Raman, okay. Silakhandan. Istilinga, it, 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 it varies. It's not same for Istilinga. <laughs> Because thrilling has a a e, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it depends upon. Uh, uh, so if it is chhatra, it will be remain. So in stilinga, bahuvachan is same. In many cases, um, some cases is same, some cases changes. So do we know where it is changing and where it is same? Whether it's a is same and e is changing? So, so is there an So that's so that's vivakti uh, niyam. Vivakti <laughs> So when you read vivakti, so when you read vivakti, then you will know. So we'll read okay. later in this in this course. Yeah, yeah. Then we will know about those. But yeah. for now, if we we, we should um, uh, remember that uh, um, when we use object, uh, when we use the uh, when we use something in uh, with kriya, we use the karma rupam. Karma rupam. Hmm. Uh, with so, the uh, napunsak linga is easy because all the karma rupam and karta rupam are same. But with pullinga and nistilinga they change it. So there we need to a bit uh, uh, be conscious of that. Yeah. Uh, cool. huh, okay. Mode, Sanchayati is also collecting, right? 
हाँ संचेती सो संचेती इज संचय करना मीन्स यू लाइक इन अदर स्टोरी इट वॉज लाइक द चतुर वृद्ध राइट इन दैट इट वॉज लाइक वॉज लाइक वृद्ध फला संचय थी so sanchet is uh, uh, is also collect uh, uh, to what you call collect as well okay but uh, there so is a collect so, and there is a ikatta karna right ek hota hai uthana one so sanri has so uh, uh, especially uh, even as, uh, even in that sense as well you can use uh, that one um i will check what word um uh, was it sanchet there i don't remember yes. now yes, sancheti yes. no, yeah okay. so, but sancheti also means uh, basically uh, you know to to collect yeah sangrihani is actually is um, is uh, basically is collect but you know you are you are gathering so it is more specific is more sanche has uh, is means collect in the sense you are picking but sanche also means to save you know it is okay. so is sanche dhanam sanche annam so is a mm. more wider form sangrihani is A bit is specific. Okay. Yeah, but you can use sanche as well. I think that's the this sorry sanche is also can use for uh, picking and collecting. Okay. Then so again, if you see here, we are saying peti ka yam. So peti ka yam here means in, in the, the box. box. In the box. This thapayati. This thap. Uh, so this thapayati means to put. right so yeah. you can use other use other use of istapati like say you want to say i put my phone on the table so hum durwanim utpitikayam go to putting on the table utpitikayam isthapayami or you want to say um um i put uh, a a glass um on the table so hum chasakam isthapayami so sthapyami is also very good uh, kriya padam to remember uh, to remember you can um, use this in day to day conversation i am putting things down ami sthapyami i am putting things even for parking right uh, so if i want to say i am parking my car here so you can say, you can say aham car yanam matlab to koi anybody want to try i park my car how to say बाइसिकल योर क्लोथ मोदी यू सेड कार फॉर कार्यानी कार्यानम यानम ओके यानम ओके कार्यानम इज कार हां कार आई मीन प्रॉपर वर्ड फॉर कार इज एक्चुअली रथ बट वी हैड अपडेटेड कार टू संस्कृत सो वी जस्ट ऐड यानम सो कार्यानम हम कार्यानम इज स्थापित ऑन पार्किंग माय कार अस्तु गृहनाति पेटिकायां स्थापयति शीघ्रम अन्यत्र गच्छति चातुर्यम वरिष्ठम समाधानोपकरणम ताउजन अस्तु सो दिस इज वेरी गुड एक्चुअली एप गुरुकुल डॉट कॉम so this is story from uh, that that app only they have put this all the stories on the youtube as well so they have very nice stories using very uh, simple uh, sanskrit word sanskrit words so let me stop this <laughs> and uh adha samayam samaptam adha samayam samaptam vayam कोपी मंगल श्लोका पढ़ती आई कैन रीड हाँ पढ़ते हुए भगनी ओम पूर्णमधम पूर्णमिधम पूर्णा पूर्णमुद्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमाधाय 
पूर्णमेवशिष्य श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम प्रश्न Is it due? Is it? I I saw your mail. Due. Due tomorrow. Yeah. You okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Bahuvachanam. Is Sri Lanka Bahuvachanam? Yes. That's true. That's true. Seventh is not due, right? Seventh we have not done. Uh, seventh was was Napunsak Linga wasn't it? Seventh. Ah, Pullinga Sri Lanka Shabda. Ah. It is uh, exercise thirty-five, thirty-six. Um, asti, santi, that one. Astu, astu. So I mean, if you have, uh, have you submitted or not? No, that is uh, that looks to be. It has got a uh, ek um, avachanam, uh, dvi avachanam, and bahu avachanam. All three are there in it. Aham kurma. Should we do that? Grahkar yeah, in seventh. I I did seventh, eighth. I have to do. No, seventh you have done it because it is not done the class the the dual thing, right? The dual vachanam we have not done. A tau, a tre, a te. That we have not. Tau.